Welcome back, everyone. We're going to talk about robots because robots are amazing fun. This is part of the T-Mill factory. Some of these machines are robotic and they do their own thing. It's really important to consider technologies like this in sustainability for a good reason. All the products we make are made from natural materials, using renewable energy, and everything we design is designed from the start to come back to us when it's worn out. We chop that material up and make new products like the t-shirt I'm wearing. When you try and do all of that really good stuff, people don't talk about this a lot. It's totally crazy that actually it will cost loads more money. And you can't really just ask people to say, hey, look, spend more or buy less because that doesn't really fix it. You, so what we try to do is work out how do we make sort of more sustainable clothes more accessible. So what we do is we use modern technologies like artificial intelligence or robots to make parts of the supply chain really, really efficient. And then we take those efficiencies and then reinvest the money that we save in paying for the stuff that we want to do, like better materials, energy and stuff like that. So let's take a look at them. Um, we design these systems to make it really easy. Look, robots are hard for people sometimes to build. And actually, uh, if you just get like loads of really brain box people to build robots, let's see one move. I bet everyone's waiting to see one move, aren't they? Yeah. Um, you don't want just load of brain box people building robots and then just designing people out of jobs. Like, that's rubbish. So it'd be better if you could encourage people who actually know how to do these jobs and actually build technologies that help them build robots that well, they, they're the ones who know how to do it. So if they get a chance to build the robots too, it will be better because it'll, it'll actually do it right. Plus, the, instead of being kind of designed out of a job, the person gets a new and better job. Either one where they do have to do less work because the robot does something for them, or they can just become a robotics engineer, which is better than, well, it's not better than everything, but it's better than just, I know like moving would be one, like a box mover. So what's happening here is um, this kit is this like kind of Meccano, and then we build um, we, do, we we build tools to help people build robots. This is how we do it. Number one, robots robots have to have their own little brain to know what to do, and that's code. And code is like can be quite hard. So we we found these little things. They're called Raspberry Pis, and they're um, do I have to do that some more slower? Do I wreck the focus? I'm just trolling you now. <laughs> So this is like a, this teaches kids how to code and they cost 20 quid and that's a whole computer, which is mind blowing in itself. You put like a mouse and keyboard and a network cable in there. And then the get, good thing about them is they have these little, they have these little wire, um, wire things that they have to teach the kids like when they're coding, it makes stuff light up and stuff. So it's like, if this, then make it go green or whatever. So this teaches kids how to code. And then what we do is we build these circuit boards. So this is a T-Mill circuit board. This is top secret technology. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, and on it is, uh, it, uh, um, it's called, it's called a team or G hat. The G stands for gangster. And this allows, um, uh, this, this basically has a con electronics in it to be able to control like machines up to like one of the machines we control with this is about three tons. So like serious, uh, industrial equipment and then ready. They connect together like that. So now you have people who, like kids, controlling big robots, except for our staff are, are not kids. Um, but it's easy, that's the most important thing. So what you have to do now is you have to poke the wire in a hole, all right? Which is a fairly low bar, I think. So you get a wire and you poke it in a hole and that's basically it. So there you go, now your robotics training is complete. Um, so what wires do you poke in what holes? Well, we, we get the electrics down to like 12 volts. So it's like skeletric. So if someone messes up, like they won't get electrocuted. It's just, um, unless they put it on their tongue. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, and then, so here, this is a sensor and they, they can go, so they poke the wire from the sensor in the, in the hole up there. And then this is um, something called solenoid. And then we, we whoops, it controls, it, it, uh, this is like an airflow um, switch. So, oh, so yeah, 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 well, that thing, silver thing, airflow switch. So you poke the, poke the, poke the wire from here in the hole. And then what you do is you basically go, if this robot here, you go, if this, whoops, whoa, then that. If this, then that. So we can try it out. If the sensor, then push it. Ready? 
So that's how that works. And all of these robots around here work in the sort of same principles. So here orders are being brought down from one part of the factory and moved up to be packed. And here orders that um, are ready to go, that have been packed, the uh, boxes are going back home. And what that means is um, the team don't have to walk, do like boring stuff, walking, moving, lifting. Instead, orders are just brought to them. That means that they're more productive and it, it, it solves a lot of problems with sustainability. For example, we really, ages ago, we, were really, we really wanted to do packaging that's not rubbish and plastic, but to do um, sustainable paper packaging co costs us 10 times more to do this than plastic, which is crazy. So a lot of people say they can't afford to do it, but what we did is we built all these robotics which increased the productivity of our packing teams by like 30%. And it's that 30% increase in productivity, the money from that we use to make uh, our radical um, sustainable packaging possible. That demonstrates how modern technology and sustainability, they're not like different things. Robots can help us make sustainability happen. Um, that's what they should be for. One more robot. Let's go and have a look. So let's go along here. This one is great. So last robot we'll show you. Um, there's, they're kind of everywhere, but this one's fun because it's, um, if you remember Mario, uh, Donkey Kong, so this one's called Donkey Kong. So it happens anyway, I'm gonna push these. It's kind of cheating, but 